We just discovered that uh, Killer Boy has been arrested. They don't arrest Killer Boy. <laughs> the guy is a very, very laughable human being. And I'm going to explain to you why. Killer Boy is one of the most wanted men in Nigeria. After killing his girlfriend. And apparently ran to another country and changed his identity. In fact, God gave him an opportunity to start over, but it seems like his old lifestyle. He went there to continue his old lifestyle. According to Eniola, who posted this guy's picture announcing to the world that this guy has been arrested, he wrote, he said, a businessman who was declared wanted for killing his girlfriend, Augusta Ocidio, a student of Led City University, has been arrested in Sierra Leone. After committing the act, he spent over 25,000 US dollars purchasing a Sierra Leone passport. He changed his name to Kanu Princeton Samuel. Wow, nice one. His photo has been posted on social media by the girl's family. Someone in Sierra Leone identified him. Mr. Femi Falani was contacted and informed Lagos police, which declared him wanted. He was arrested at Ninth Club in Freetown yesterday. For clarity, the $25,000 US dollar wasn't, wasn't just for the Sierra Leone passport alone, but, was, but that was what he spent on getting a new life for himself and changing identity. This guy spent 25,000 US dollar for changing a new life for himself, changing identity. That is about, let me say, 25 million naira. 25 million naira. This guy is a businessman. And every businessman should be able to strategize, know the loops or know what to do and what not to do in, in order to gain uh, some profit and uh, not gain losses. This man, uh, sorry to say, is a quack. It's a quack businessman because he doesn't know how to, how to think. I can easily say nature, God gave him an opportunity. Yes, so after killing his girlfriend, God gave him an, another opportunity to start a new life. A man who successfully killed his girlfriend in Nigeria, successfully left Nigeria, got a new passport, change of name, Settled down for a few weeks in another country. And you tell me God never assisted that person. God assisted him. God gave him a second chance. Maybe he prayed. Although he doesn't deserve that second chance because of what he did. But nature sometimes do favor people like that. Nature favored him. Maybe he prayed to God and said, please, God, give me or not, give me another chance. I won't misbehave again. Maybe nature, God gave him another chance. And you know what he did? He went back to that old lifestyle. He was arrested inside a club. Somebody made by a girlfriend. He said he'll go hide for one village. For one village, spent like three years there, growing beers well. Go they wear glasses. Made they know they will see your face. This guy, this non-entity of a guy. Who they go there, he see they scrape his beer, still looking the same way he look. On the on the wanted uh, uh, poster, looking the same way. Nothing changed, and you think somebody will not identify you? This guy is really ridiculously stupid. Well, I'm happy for the girl's family. He was arrested, and you'll be treated like a common criminal. And you know, Nigeria, if you call me and you are guilty, <laughs> now nah, buy straight. You won't all finish. Your own don't finish. And guess what? This guy was the one that even uh, exposed himself for social media. Man. <laughs> guy is really crazy. This guy is really crazy. He pissed me off already. He really, really pissed me off. <laughs> he really pissed me off already, guys. This guy is a real non-entity. <laughs> 
a crazy MF, a real non-entity. Nature gave you an opportunity to start over, and you went there to judge yourself. If she, if that not stupidity, then tell me what it is. If that's not stupidity, then tell me what it is, guys. Ah, God, it's crazy, this guy. So let's uh, move past that. Uh, let's talk about uh, Tiwa Savage. Is uh, his uh, ex husband just recently posted something about him, and I want to make, I want to have something to say about this. Eh? According to T. Bliss, T. Bliss wrote something. He said, "When I see what other men go through, I can't help but count my blessings." Forever grateful to Mama J for making my relationship so soft. With love, even when I can't afford, she still presents me as a superman to my twin. Being a single mom is 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 heck of a job. Grateful and blessed. Well, so honestly, being a single mom is is not easy. And again, we already know that the bliss no get the money to take care of the wasabi speaking. Let's be honest with that. The bliss has so many other kids with other women. But him coming out to acknowledge it and also praise the wasabi car. Not be every man do that issue. That is a grateful soul. But again, and then it makes me remember what of if this situation was. Let me say T Bliss. Let me say, okay, let me not use T Bliss at WhatsApp. Let me say, is the man that is taking care of the kids. The man is taking care of the, uh, of the child, and the woman is in another relationship. Do you think that woman will appreciate that man? Most women will not appreciate their man. It's very hard for us to see women that are not with their baby father to come out to acknowledge the good things the baby daddy is doing. Not every woman can do that. It's rare. Show me if you have. Not every woman can do it. It's rare, extremely rare. You come outside to say, Oh, I want to thank my baby daddy for always supporting, for always doing this, despite this. And your baby daddy is married to on or married to another uh, woman. Now like, oh, they will able though that man is paying from his teeth. Eh? That woman will never acknowledge him. We never have seen, we have witnessed it. Show me. Show me any woman that is not. I'm not saying married couple, so a married man and a wife, a wife is praising his uh, her husband for providing for the family. No, I'm talking about separate couples. Separate. This one is living his life, this one is living her life. And the woman appreciated the man for always supporting, for always providing for their child. Show me. Then uh, yesterday was a uh, whiskey girlfriend, wife, and baby mama. Sorry for saying whiskey girlfriend. It's humiliating and disrespectful. Abba, humiliating and disrespectful for calling Jada whiskey uh uh, girlfriend, very, very humiliating. That is disrespectful for my own side. With the way whiskey is chilling with that uh, woman, you know it's pure love, nothing more. It's pure love and uh, and uh, uh, affection, nothing more. Well, whiskey wife celebrated her birthday yesterday, and of course, whiskey did a whole lot. Apparently, it was even rumored whiskey dropped like ten million naira for inside that club. 10 million bar, we know that one too small for whiskey, but that's money. And so many other stuff he, he, he did as well. And uh, Kobana Chief even posted whiskey. I was even surprised that Kobana Chief is posting whiskey. You know, it's a David O person. But no, no beef, though, no beef. So, no beef, no beef at all. So, guys, let me know exactly how you feel about what we discuss, starting from that uh, killer boy, you know, no killer boy. <laughs> Says you don't get. Then again, uh, the baby mama stuff, man, T. Bliss for sending that message, and uh, no be every man feed one more. But it's a grateful soul. Many men can do that, but not very few women can actually acknowledge their baby daddy for providing. Ah, no matter how you they bring money, rich, 
as long as you are not married to that woman. She's seeing you flourishing. That woman, she's seeing you flourishing with another woman. Ah. But you will always pepper her. She will never be satisfied. She will never, ever, ever be happy. It's crazy. But that's what it just be. That is women for you. That is how they are. That is just who they are. Well, grateful soul. Grateful soul.